Hi, I am Emily, and this is the story of how my life took an unexpected turn in ways I never imagined. It's the kind of story that leaves you questioning the nature of love, happiness, and what it truly means to find companionship. My husband, Ethan, and I had everything, or so it seemed. Ethan is a successful businessman, deeply dedicated to his work. He's built an empire over the years, and we have lived in luxury because of it. We've traveled the world, experienced fine dining, and moved into a mansion in one of the most affluent neighborhoods of New York. I, on the other hand, have always been more of a homebody. As an interior designer, I have a passion for creating beauty and comfort in every space, so when we moved into our new house, I threw myself into making it a home. Everything in the house was perfect, at least on the outside. But even in the midst of all that wealth, I felt something was missing. Ethan had become busier than ever, caught up in back-to-back -back meetings and endless work trips. It wasn't that he didn't care about me, it's just that his career took up all his time and energy. Days turned into nights where I would spend hours alone, flipping through TV channels, aimlessly wandering through the rooms of our massive house. Sometimes, the loneliness would creep in so heavily that I would cry myself to sleep. Ethan noticed my sadness but couldn't quite figure out how to fix it. He tried planning short vacations, but even on those trips, he was glued to his phone, answering calls and sending emails. It wasn't long before he realized that he needed to do something more. That's when he came up with the idea of inviting his younger sister, Sophie, to live with us for a while. Emily, Sophie's coming to stay with us for a bit, he told me one night over dinner. I was immediately excited. Sophie and I had always gotten along well. She was kind, vibrant, and full of life, just the kind of person I needed around. Ethan thought her presence would make me feel less lonely, and honestly, I believed it too. I needed someone to talk to, someone who could fill the void in my life. Two days later, Sophie arrived. From the moment she stepped into our home, her energy was contagious. She was stunning, tall, slender, with a radiant smile and effortless charm. She brought a freshness into the house that had been missing for a long time. We quickly fell into a rhythm, spending hours talking, cooking together, and going on shopping sprees. It was nice to have someone around to share my days with. Slowly, the loneliness that had been haunting me began to lift. I was starting to feel alive again. Sophie and I grew closer every day. We would prepare meals together, gossip about the latest fashion trends, and binge-watch our favorite shows late into the night. Our conversations would stretch long past midnight, sharing secrets, fears, and dreams. There was a certain warmth and intimacy between us that I hadn't experienced in a long time, not even with Ethan. One day, I found myself standing in the kitchen, watching Sophie as she moved effortlessly, chopping vegetables for dinner. There was something about the way she smiled at me, the way her eyes seemed to linger just a little longer than usual. My heart raced. I didn't understand what was happening. Was it the loneliness? The longing for companionship? Or was it something deeper? I tried to shake the feeling, but it grew stronger over the next few days. Every time our hands brushed against each other, every time our eyes met, there was a spark, a connection I hadn't felt in years. And then, one evening, it happened. We were alone in the kitchen, laughing about something trivial when I leaned in, almost unconsciously. Sophie turned toward me, her face inches from mine, and before I knew it, our lips met in a passionate kiss. The world around us disappeared. In that moment, nothing else mattered. It was exhilarating, confusing, and terrifying all at once. How could this happen? How could I, a married woman, fall for my husband's sister? But as the days went on, the connection between Sophie and I deepened. We began stealing moments, swimming together in the morning, enjoying coffee in the garden, sharing quiet dinners, and eventually sharing even more intimate moments in the privacy of our bedroom. I was happier than I had been in years. Sophie filled a void in my heart that I didn't even know existed. 
She gave me the attention, love, and affection that Ethan, for all his efforts, never could. But deep down, I knew this couldn't last forever. There was always that nagging thought in the back of my mind what next? What would happen if Ethan found out? How could I ever explain what I was feeling? The guilt and fear weighed heavily on me, but I pushed it aside. For the first time in years, I felt truly happy, and I wasn't ready to give that up. Then, one fateful evening, everything changed. Sophie and I were in the living room, wrapped in each other's arms, sharing a passionate kiss, when suddenly, the door swung open. Ethan stood there, frozen in shock. His face was a mix of disbelief, betrayal, and anger. I felt my heart drop. Time seemed to stand still as we all processed what had just happened. Without saying a word, Ethan turned and walked out of the house. I chased after him, calling his name, but he didn't stop. He went straight to the garden and sat on one of the stone benches, staring at the ground. I stood there, unsure of what to say, how to explain myself. Sophie stayed inside, probably just as shocked as I was. Minutes passed, and finally, Ethan spoke. How long? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Tears welled up in my eyes as I tried to explain. Ethan, I, I didn't mean for this to happen. It just, it just did. He stayed silent for a long time, and then, to my surprise, he said something I never expected to hear. Emily, Sophie, both of you deserve happiness. I've been so caught up in my work that I forgot about you. I forgot to give you the love and attention you needed. If Sophie makes you happy, then, then I'll step aside. I was stunned. How could Ethan be so selfless? So understanding. He was hurt, that much was clear, but instead of lashing out, he chose to support us. The next day, he filed for divorce, but not out of anger or resentment. He did it because he wanted both of us to be happy. In the end, Ethan moved on with his life, and Sophie and I continued our relationship. It wasn't the path I had expected to take, but it was the one that made me happy. And that's what life is all about, isn't it? Finding happiness, even in the most unexpected places. As I sit here, telling this story, I realize that love isn't always simple. It doesn't always fit into the neat little boxes society tries to put it in. Sometimes, love surprises you. It challenges you. It forces you to confront parts of yourself you never knew existed. But in the end, love, true love, is about finding someone who sees you, who understands you, and who makes you feel whole. So, that's my story. A story of unexpected love, of betrayal, and of finding happiness where I least expected it. Life has a funny way of leading you down paths you never imagined, but as long as you follow your heart, you'll always end up where you're meant to be.